Hello artists, today we're going to have fun with Cityscapes, One Point Perspective, and a color wheel all in one project. Make sure your name and table code are on the back of the paper, and you're going to put a little dot in the center of your paper. All right, now we have these safety compasses. You lock that slidey bit into its largest setting, and then you put the center on top of your vanishing point, and you put your pencil in and draw your circle. Easy peasy. All right, now we're going to take a ruler and we're going to divide up our circle. Imagine it's a pizza, but not everybody's getting the same size. Okay, so you want to make sure you have at least six pieces of pizza, but it's probably better to have like nine or even 12, because the more pieces of pizza you have, the more buildings you get to draw. All right, now we've got that done. It's time to decide where the roofs are of our buildings are going to be. So I'm just going to take a ruler and I'm going to draw lines. I'm going to make some of these pieces shorter and some bigger. Um, so each of these pie pieces is going to be turned into a building and you're going to see how we're going to do that in just a moment. All right, so go all the way around your circle. Like I said, you want all these buildings to be a little bit different so that they're more interesting. So some are short, some are tall. Now I can erase the lines that go from the top of our building to the center point, to the vanishing point, but I want to leave that vanishing point because it's still really important we need to leave it there because anytime you draw a vertical line, it has to line up with that vanishing point. That is what we call one point perspective. Okay, so as things get closer to the center, they're gonna be more narrow uh, than they would be sort of at the edge of our circle. So even in this case, I'm drawing the door, the edges of my door had to line up with that vanishing point. And even the boards that I'm using uh, to draw the door in need to have that vanishing point perspective. All right, that's a big door. So you just go around, you give each building its own little personality. And I'm going to start here. And again, line your ruler up with the vanishing point. Also, as you get closer to the edge of your circle, your windows and doors are going to get uh, bigger than they are at the top. All right. So I'm going to go around to each building give it its own little personality. This one's gonna have big rectangular windows. And then this one, I'm gonna give the roof a little uh, dome. And I'm gonna draw these arched windows. For some reason, I love drawing arched windows. I don't know why, but I do. So some of our buildings look a little more modern than others. Uh, some look like they're kind of old. Um, I've seen some examples of this where people have taken different uh, famous buildings from around the world and put them all in one circle. That's kind of a cool thing to do, but I'm just making up my buildings. All right, so almost done that. Once you have put in all the details of your building, then you're going to outline it with a zebra pen or a Sharpie. Make sure it's a permanent marker though. So then I'm going to go in with my watercolors and I'm going to start by painting in the primary colors. All right, so I started with red, nice bright bold red. Remember that if you want the color darker, it's more paint, less water. And once I've got that done, then I can go in and I'm gonna put in my yellow. Notice I'm leaving space in between my primary colors so I can put my secondary colors in between. All right, so between yellow and red, we have an orange, and then I wanna make a yellowy orange too, but I'll get back to that. So I'm gonna do green here. Notice I used the watercolor pencils and I put in some blue and then some green over top of it to make that sort of blue-green color. I'm mixing the blue and the purple. So you want the colors to sort of naturally go into each other. There I'm using the watercolor again with a red-purple. And then this one I'm going to use the watercolor pencil with the orange and then use yellow paint over top so I get a yellow-orange. Now I just take Sharpies and gel pens and I add as many details and fanciful little things to my building as I want. And it's this is the part that's really fun. So this is a mix of Sharpies and gel pens. Uh, you could use colored pencils still, any other color markers. Also notice that I painted my sky blue. I erased that vanishing point and I used a blue, a light blue wash to create a sky. You can also do it with a night sky. I've got an example, I'll show you that in a minute. So you know how much I love gel pens, so I really went to town on this and gave each building its own little special decorations. I also used a whiteout pen. 
All right, so there's my example. Here's an example of one with a night sky. And this one I did in reverse. I bet you could figure out how to do that one too. All right, have fun, go forth, and be brilliant.